the placebo effect. Take a fake pill, feel better. That's the placebo effect, and it's real. People with migraines, depression, even chronic pain have shown legit improvement from sugar pills. The brain just goes, oh, we're doing medicine now, and kicks into healing mode. The crazy part is, it doesn't just feel better. Physical symptoms sometimes improve, brain scans light up, and stress hormones drop. Some patients are even told they're taking a placebo and still feel better. That's like watching a magic trick while being told it's fake and still being amazed. Science calls it the mind-body connection. I call it your brain hustling your body like a con artist. Déjà vu. That creepy feeling that you've lived this exact moment before? Déjà vu. Nearly everyone experiences it, but no one really understands why. Some scientists think it's a memory hiccup, like your brain accidentally files a new experience into the already seen folder. Others think it might be a delay between different brain processes syncing up, or a misfire while your brain tries to make sense of what it's seeing. There's also speculation it could be linked to stress, fatigue, or even tiny undetectable seizures. So when you feel like you've heard all this before, you kind of have, but not really. Thanks, brain. Why we yawn? We've sent robots to Mars. We've mapped the human genome. We cloned a sheep, but we still don't really know why we yawn. We yawn when we're tired, bored, stressed, or even when we see someone else yawn. It might be our body trying to cool down the brain or some weird leftover instinct from caveman days, but scientists still can't agree. They've done experiments, brain scans, and even tried to make rats yawn on command. Nothing. Zero answers. It's one of those things that seems simple until you try to explain it. Some studies suggest it's social, that yawning might help group alertness, like saying, hey, we're all tired, let's take a break. But even that's just a theory. It doesn't explain why we yawn when we're alone mm. or while watching videos about mm. yawning. You've probably yawned at least once watching this. Animal Migration GPS. Birds, turtles, whales, they migrate thousands of miles with mind-blowing precision. But how? Scientists have uncovered some clues. Magnetic fields, the sun, stars, scent trails, even low-frequency sound waves. But no single system fully explains the accuracy. Some species return to the exact same beach or pond they were born in years later. There's growing evidence they can see Earth's magnetic field, but we don't know how that works or how they combine it with other cues. So next time you get lost with Google Maps, remember, a bird with a brain the size of a peanut might have done it better. The hum. In some towns around the world, people report hearing a constant low hum, like a truck engine idling in the distance. But there is no truck, or engine, or anything. It's called the hum. It's been reported in the UK, New Mexico, Canada, and other places since the 1970s. It's usually around 30 to 40 hertz, just low enough to be creepy and just loud enough to keep you up at night. No single cause, no consistent source, and not everyone hears it. Some people are fine, others report headaches, insomnia, or just this constant low-grade irritation. The most unsettling part? Sometimes entire towns just stop hearing it, like the hum knew it was being watched. 